website and you liked it and you wanted to know what it was and how they were using it, there's multiple tools that will end up doing that for you. They all work a little bit differently. Here's a link to uh, an article on Web Designer that identifies five major ones of these. What the font, what font is, identifont, and there's a lot of other ones as well. So let's just go real quick to what the font. Uh, that's basically off the My, Face, My Fonts page. So I could have been here looking at some other font, searching around for something, and I could go to what the font through this link and it's going to ask you to upload an image. So I went ahead and just took a snapshot. I want to know what this is. So I'm going to hit Command Shift 4 on my Mac. I'm going to draw a box just around some of the letters. It's going to have a hard time identifying just three letters, but you also don't need to feed it 30 different letters. So I've taken a snapshot of that. I go back to this. I'm going to choose that image. The latest screenshot on my desktop and I'm going to hit the green arrow to continue. Then it's going to ask you to do a walkthrough. Have I identified this as a capital S, the lowercase a, m, s, etc. If for some reason you're in your snapshot it's showing two letters here, like if this box had been a G plus the A, it didn't see enough of a gap in there, my suggestion would be just to leave it completely blank. So you don't want to feed it misinformation, you just tell it yes on the confirmation letters. Then I can go to continue and it's going to show me what it believes it is. It's showing three different versions within the Museo Slab family and then some other ones over in here as well and it gives you the link to go off and go check that particular font. What font is is the exact same thing. Upload, browse, and upload a file that you took from a snapshot or something like that and then hit continue. Identifont is a little bit different. This would be if I didn't really have a good snapshot or the other ones couldn't see the letters. It's going to ask you a series of questions. So like here, do the characters have serifs? Uh, yes. Which one of these do you see a capital Q? And could you identify that? Because that's a pretty common letter that uh, distinguishes itself from other typefaces. And if you're not sure, you can just hit continue and it'll again continue to ask you questions. Does the J dangle down below the baseline in a capital letter or does it sit here? If you know the answer, you can click on it or continue to hit not sure. Here's another one that I think is really, really useful. Only problem is it only works in Chrome. So if you were to do a font search for, or Google search for what font, it's going to pop up this particular box, and it allows you to go ahead and download this from the Chrome store for free and add it to your Chrome browser. It's a, it's a browser that has an awful lot of extensions for it. There's another person that makes one that's exclusively for Firefox. And if I go to some other page, like I'm going to go back here, I'm going to hit, it adds it to the control bar up here. So I'm going to hit what font and I'm going to drag the tool down and it's saying it's Museo Slab Lite. Down here in the body copy, it's Hel something from the Helvetica New family. Um, I can go back over here to a different page. This is from FastCo. And I drag across this FC Kaiser Condensed, FC Zuzu Slab. And if I find a particular instance of it that I really, really like, I can also click on it and it'll come back in. it'll feed me more information. It's saying this is FC Zuzu Slab being used at 16 points or 16 pixels with 24 pixels of leading, and that's the color. So if I was to click on this one, it would tell me that again it's a variation of Juju Sans, not Juju Slab anymore, 15 point on 19 point leading, and here's the particular color. So you can use this to identify both colors and fonts, and again what kind of leading were they using, what kind of line spacing, anything else like that. And then if for some reason this is getting in your way, up in the top right corner it will always have an exit what font button so that I can clear that extension from working at that particular time. So just a lot of different tools to be able to help you figure out what that font is either by traditional means of using some of these to upload an image, walking through a series of questions, or downloading the what font uh, Chrome extension so that I can check out what this particular thing is. So fairly standard headline letting in that they've got 40 point type but only using 36-point letting or padding on a website.